everyone and welcome back. I am back with another video. Today I am doing a All My Pets video and introducing you guys to everybody. I did a poll on Twitter uh, the other day to see what you guys would like to see and this is what majority of you wanted. Uh, I only introduced you guys to a few of my reptiles so far so pretty much everyone that you see today will probably be new to you guys. Unless you follow me on Twitter and Instagram, uh, you'll probably have already a sneak peek on who I have and who you'll be seeing today. If you don't already follow me, make sure you go and check out my other accounts and hit that subscribe button down below so you can um, see all my future videos coming out. Alright, so let's get started. I'm going to start with my two bearded dragons that you guys should have met in my first video. If you haven't seen it already, be sure to go check it out. This is Gabriel. Gabriel is actually a girl. I found this out not that long ago. Um, for the longest time ever since I had her, I always thought she was a boy, so we had named her Gabriel. So I will be changing her name to maybe Gabriella or um, Gabrielle, something similar to what her name already is because I don't want to change it too much even though they probably aren't too sure what their names are anyway. Um, and then down here I have Reptar we ha who was named after the green dragon in the Rugrats. So yeah, these are my two bearded dragons. I had them for uh, maybe two years now I think it was. I would say about two years now. Um, you can see the. Oh, where are you going? There are you. You can see the size difference between the two. This is the male. This is my female. She is much, much fatter than he is. She also has a little stub tail. Somebody online was breeding beta dragons, and then they were selling the babies, but she was left over, and no one wanted her due to her tail. So at that point, they were kind of just getting rid of her. Um, and a friend of mine brought it up to me, so we went and got her. We didn't. We ended up just rescuing her from him. We didn't pay anything for her. But the second that I saw her, I loved her nub tail. My first bearded dragon that I had, his name was Spike. He had a nub tail. It wasn't as small as hers. It was probably about this much longer. Um, but I have a thing for stubby tail bearded dragons. This is Reptar and Gabriel. I know a lot of people think um, or will say that I shouldn't be keeping them together, that they shouldn't be kept on substrate or sand. I keep mine on crushed walnut shells. I have done so since I've had bearded dragons. I have never had any issues being impacted from it or affecting them in any way. It doesn't get stuck to them when they're wet and then they walk all over it. It just doesn't cling like sand does. So I really like walnut shells. As far as them being together, they've been in the same tank together for over a year now. I've had no issues with them fighting with each other or hurting each other. Um, they get along great all the time. They were kept in my living room so they are constantly being observed so if anything was to ever happen I can separate them immediately. I do have spare tanks that if I had to separate them they will have a home to be put into. I don't have to worry about any of that. But I just I feel like if they're doing fine together I'm not going to separate them and make them lonely like they love each other's company. Like I said if you follow me on Instagram you'll see pictures that I posted them cuddling with each other and just hanging out all the time. So yeah that's them. And next we have my Rachidactyls Lichianus. This is Shaman. In my second video, I did an introduction video to him. He is my favorite species of gecko. I love just everything about them from how large they get. They get anywhere from 12 to 14 inches in length depending on the subspecies that you have. Um, from research and from talking to a few people, I believe he might be a pine isle. You can kind of tell from like the bars on his sides. He is a little bit flared up right now. I don't know if you can see it, um, but not fully. He's usually a much brighter green, and his bars are a little bit pinker than they, they show now. He's not really in the mood to be handled right now, so I won't keep him out too long. They are the cutest little things. Right. So next, I have my striped gargoyle gecko. This is Twigs. It is, I've had him, oh. All right, where are you going? I've had him for a few months now. He's probably about six months, seven months old. From what I've been told, he might be a little bit older. As you can tell, he is really, really flighty. He does not really like being handled too much, so I'm going to be putting him back really shortly. Um, but I wanted to take him out for this video. I am slowly working with him um, to make him a little bit more handleable, but he does have such beautiful, beautiful features. Like, I don't know if you guys can see 
the the bumps on his head where they get like the gargoyle name from and then just his beautiful colors and everything just about him is gorgeous he really has like that raptor head that i love so much in these new caledonian geckos which almost all the geckos that i have are from new caledonia like the lychees the gargoyles crested geckos they're all from there this is twigs so next i have my fat tail gecko this is mr bean his name is Coffee Bean, but I call him Mr. Bean for short. This is my first ever fat tail gecko. I have had leopard geckos in the past. I've had a couple of them. So I know their care isn't too, too different. He gets the same kind of diet as most of my reptiles do. And he gets a mix of different insects, so crickets. Um, I might start feeding him small dubia roaches if I feel like he might take it. As of right now, I'm just monitoring his eating habits because when I got him, he was really scrawny. And his tail really had like no meat on him at all. This is actually pretty thick compared to when I had him. Well, when I first got him, it was like half the size of this. So right now I'm just making sure that he's doing well. So I have him on just paper towel right now. I took him off of his substrate. Right now I know he is. He only seems to go to the bathroom in his water dish. I don't even think he drinks out of it or bathes in it. It is just for going to the bathroom. So I have to have a separate water dish that he can drink and you know, bathe in because the other, the main one that I had in there, he pretty much uses as a litter pan. It's like he's potty trained. So yeah, this is Mr. Bean. He's doing so well. I love him. I love their eyes. I love how they are just pure black. Yeah. So next I have my only female crested gecko. She's gonna jump. She's quite flighty. Um, I hold her just as much as I hold all my other animals. If not, I hold like my crested geckos more. Um, just because I know they don't mind the handling as much as some of my other ones. Her name is Safira, and her and my other male's name, who you will meet today, is Aragon. I don't know if you guys ever seen the movie Aragon. Um, it is a dragon movie. I named them after them only because I feel like she has like the same look, um, or at least her face kind of has that same structure as the dragon in that movie. So I thought it fit her really well. She is, I believe she's a Harlequin Dalmatian mix. I was not told when I got her what she was. I kind of just assume from like the research that I do and when I look up, you know, about the species and like the morphs that they have. If you guys have any suggestions of what you think she may be, I'm definitely open to hearing it. This is my female crested gecko. She's so gorgeous though. So this is my second male. His name is Aragon. This is the one I was just talking about that I have paired with Safira. He, I believe, is a uh, tiger stripe Dalmatian. He's got those beautiful colors to him. I don't know if my camera is focusing in enough for you to see him, but he is just absolutely gorgeous. He's, his patterns are just unbelievable. He's super friendly, loves to be held. He's not flight. Oh, as I say, he's not flighty. Two hours later. So as I was saying, how he's not super flighty as he jumps away and runs underneath the couch on me. He usually isn't that bad. He usually will just stay here and hang out with me for the most part. He's a pretty chill crested gecko, but I just absolutely love his colors. Like he's just so gorgeous. Hi. Good job. I'm sure you guys can see the trend I have going on here with my animals. Yeah, this is Aragon. Next we have my Kenyan Sambo at Cheese. What are you doing, Cheese? He is not the brightest cookie in the bunch. As you can see, he kind of will just flop there. Yeah, that's, that's all he does. What? <laughs> He's not the brightest cookie in the bunch. It's not a phrase. <laughs> it's <the phrase> now. <laughs> what would you like me to call him? Brightest bulb in the bunch, sharpest tool in the shed. All right, he's not the sharpest tool in the shed, but he's a pretty awesome Kenyan Sambo. He is the first one I've ever had. Um, he's the first different species of snake I've ever had besides a ball python and like a corn snake. The you know the two standard ones that most people get as beginner snakes. Honestly, I think he is probably one of the best beginner snakes out there. He is so low maintenance as far as snakes. Like he eats regularly. He won't eat frozen though, which I wish he would because that would just make it easier for me because I just feel so bad feeding them live. Hopefully I will be able to work him into eating frozen, but yeah, he's kind of floppy. He's my floppy little guy. 
He's just so adorable. Like, I love his face. Look at that. I hope it's zooming in on the camera. Or focusing. He's just... He's so cute. My next snake I hope to get is a Western Hognose. I think they're absolutely adorable as well. So fingers crossed at the next expo that I go to, I'll be able to find one that I like. And I'll be able to bring one home with me. And I can add him into my, my next uh, All My Pets video. But yeah, here is Cheese, my Kenyan Samboa. So this one I'm going to film a little differently because I'm not taking him out because he usually jumps at anything he sees. But this is my Pac-Man frog, Gromp. I've had him for a few months now. He's like a green, yellow color. I'm trying to get it to focus in on him. There we go. He eats everything that my Kenyan Samboa won't eat. He is a hearty, hearty Pac-Man frog. So next I have one of my fancy mice. This is Milky Way. I just got him a few weeks ago. I haven't even had him for about a month yet. Yeah, he's probably the cutest little mouse in the world in my opinion. I have never owned mice before. Um, I've had a pet rat in the past and the only reason why that happened was my ball python in the past would only eat live and she unfortunately wouldn't take it and I just felt so bad. So I ended up just keeping her as a pet and I named her Oreo. She was this adorable black and white rat and she was just the sweetest thing in the world. So I do have two of them. This is Milky Way and I will go grab his brother. Okay, so this is Frosty. He is my other male fancy mouse and he is Milky Way's brother. I got him the same time that I got Milky Way a few weeks ago. You know, we started handling them after about a week of having them and they are just not timid. They're not shy. They've never tried to bite us yet. Um, honestly, that was the one thing that I was afraid of when getting a mouse. Um, that's why I've never had hamsters or anything like that growing up as a kid because I was just always terrified of getting bit. But they are just so good. Oh, what are you doing? I'm trying to dig in my hand. You can't dig there. But yeah, they are just so cute. So this is Milky Way. Isn't he adorable? Look at that cute little face. Look at that. How can you not fall in love with that? All right. So these are my two puppies. High five. Good boys. This is Zeus and this is Rusty. They are my male Siberian Huskies. How's that food going? I guess giving you a treat wasn't the best idea, huh? This is Rusty. So this is Zeus, my one of my male Siberian Huskies. I rescued him almost four years ago from upstate New York. He is such a good boy. They are so good with all the kids. He does have a little bit of anxiety, so he does breathe kind of heavy. He's been like that since he was a puppy. He, he has been to the vet and has been checked out for it. We do know that there's nothing major wrong with him. It is just anxiety. Hey, look at this. Look at this love. Look at this love I for him. He's so good. And this is Rusty. I got him five years ago. He will be six in February. He's just a big mush. They're enjoying the snow right now. It is snowing where I am currently and they've been playing. It is definitely their weather. They enjoy it so much. Okay, so in there I have my baby Axolotl. You really can't see him too well and he won't come out for me unfortunately. But I will post more videos. I'll do a care video on axolotls. I did a DIY axolotl hide just before this video. So you guys can check that out. You can use it for any other animals, honestly. Uh, just make sure that you guys are using toxic-free um, or pet-safe sealant. This way it doesn't harm the animals. But yeah, that is Mudkip. He is my axolotl. I feel bad that you guys can't see him right now, but he won't come out. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the All My Pets video. I'll do individual videos on all of my pets. This way you guys can get to know them individually. Um, what they eat, what you know, their tanks look like. You know the substrate um, I'll do like care videos on them as well uh, so yeah let me know what you guys thought down below make sure you go follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well this way you can stay up to date on all of my animals as well as when all my videos will be coming out so yeah thank you guys so much and I wish you a happy 2018 say thanks for watching bye Woo! Do it for the love, for the love, yes.
yes I do So you don't care about the money, well yes it's true And I'm so blessed to be fulfilling my destiny All material